Uh, this is my first uh, voiceover on a video. So Hi, uh, this is my first uh, voiceover on a video, so uh, already forward my excuses if there are errors in my speaking. Uh, this is already my second recording and I'm trying to do better this time. I'm going to make some remarks on the videos uh, during the course of this uh, video uh, and this is specifically about this uh, Tai Chi Chuan. The clip is only 17 minutes so I have to talk as fast as I can and I have to make sure that I tell all the things that I want to tell. The Tai Chi Chuan you're now at this moment watching is a Tai Chi Chuan 36. Tai Chi Chuan 36 is based on the Tai Chi Chuan 13, in which in the Dowland uh, program, as you know, uh, it is unavoidable that you're going to do tidbits of learning. Learning uh, takes place on different levels, whether you're a client for acupuncture or massage, or you're doing uh, weekly classes in uh, Qigong or Tai Chi Chuan or yoga or fitness or anything like that. Uh, all these different kind of learnings have to do specifically with these skills and with the questions that people ask so that it uh, fits in with their pers personal needs. And for this reason there is a textbook on downland healthcare and there is therefore a few things that you have to uh, get to grips with about uh, learning. First of all, uh, you have to be skeptical and the skepticism is not to uh, demotivate you but the skepticism is meant to uh, review yourself and what you say think feel and so forth and so forth uh, because most of the things are being presented in a simplified way certainly nowadays in whatever school you go to you get a simplified system uh, just to make you go through the learning process as fast as possible but uh, not necessarily to provide you the good understanding but to make you you know earn a living or something like this the reality though is that uh, life and events that you're working with and studies and stuff like this they do not take place in a laboratory or a petri dish uh, they take place in the complexity of daily life this is also why i like to give the classes outside uh, because the outside classes uh, give you the opportunity to experience life in all its fullness and an idea as represented in a book is a representation of a cultural mode of thought uh, you have to choose for a particular kind of mode of thought and a cultural mode of thought to be able to understand it. So when you're a Taoist and you read a book about chemistry, you won't understand it, even though chemistry and the Wu Xing theory have a similar kind of roots. All deer, all cows, all flies, everything learns. And uh, our way of learning is very similar to how monkeys learn. And monkeys learn by trial and error. We also learn by trial and error. But the thing is that we have a hard time sometimes to forget things. And that is why we sometimes keep repeating mistakes. Monkeys, they learn more slowly, but once they have learned something, they forget all the other things. They don't think about it anymore. Uh, when we talk about Li and Qi, we talk about Li principle and Qi as a perfection. In between, in the area of where Li precedes Qi, this is where we built a Jing, but also Cheng. And Jing is the construction of uh, our body and our mind and so on and so forth and the chung is the coherence in the construction of our mind and our feeling uh, to, to do more uh, so that you can learn to trust yourself in your uh, reactions and in your capacities and that is called to uh, have a form of explicit learning and we have a form of implicit implicit learning in a later stage. The explicit learning takes place in classroom and during an educational process, but the implicit learning is something for the rest of your life. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, and